Okay, here we go. We're going to go over the answers for the Bill Nye Atoms and Molecule video questions. First question, what does the video call the thousands of things we see, touch, and smell every day? The thousands of things that we see, touch, and smell every day are called matter, M-A-T-T-E-R. Question two, what does the word Adam mean in Greek? The word Adam in Greek means uncuttable, uncuttable. Next question. Question three, what is the atom, what is an atom mostly made up of? Well, an atom is mostly made up of empty space, empty space. Number four, what are the three parts of an atom? The three parts of an atom are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Question five. How far would the first electron be from the nucleus if the nucleus was the size of a small vibrating ball? If the nucleus of an atom was the size of a small vibrating ball, the first electron would be more than five football fields or about 500 meters from the nucleus. Question six, if atoms are made up of mostly space, why do objects feel like they are solid? If atoms are mostly empty space, the reason they feel solid is because atoms are attracted tightly together magnetically. They're held together magnetically by their magnetic fields. And the electrons are moving so fast, they're like a fan. They appear to be solid even if they're just spinning uh, electrons. Question seven, how many atoms can you fit on the head of a pin? Well, if we could see atoms, you could count more than one million on the head of a single pin. Question number eight, what are atoms called? Well, atoms are called the building block of all matter because everything has atoms. Question nine, in a sentence, what are atoms compared to in the English writing? Well, in a sentence, atoms are referred to as letters of the alphabet. They're like letters of an alphabet. You build words with them one at a time. Number 10, what is a molecule and what are they compared to in the English writing? If atoms are letters, what are molecules? A molecule is any two or more atoms bonded together and referred to as words in comparison to atoms being called letters. So if Atoms are letters, molecules are words because they're combinations of atoms. Question 11, what did separating the hydrogen and oxygen in water show about the ratio of two elements, of the two elements in water? Well, separating the hydrogen and oxygen in water shows that there is a two to one ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in water and they combine to make water molecules. That's why we call it H2O. O, there's just one, H, there's two. Number 12, what example did the video use to describe how we can show that there is space between atoms in molecules? Well, the video used to show um, there is space between atoms in molecules is the alcohol and water mixture. When they mix the, wa the two cups of water together, it measured two cups. When they measured water and alcohol, there was less than two cups. So there must have been space in between the molecules. Question three, what, what differentiates one atom from another? Well, he said it hundreds of times. The thing that differentiates one type of atom from another is the number of protons in the nucleus. The number of protons in the nucleus. The number of protons in the nucleus. That's what differentiates one type or group of atoms from another. So gold and silver. The difference is the number of protons in the nucleus of each atom. Question 14. What are the groups of atoms called in the periodic table? Groups of atoms in the periodic table. 
Groups of atoms in the periodic table are called periods. That's why they call them the periodic tables. Question number 16, how many naturally occurring elements are there in the universe? Well, they, I, I believe there's like 117 or 18 elements in the universe. However, some of them are made in labs. The, nat the number of natural occurring elements in the universe is 92. Question 16, everything in the universe is one of what two things? Well, everything in the universe is either matter or energy. Matter or energy. Question number 17, what element is in every living thing on earth? The element that is in every living thing on earth is carbon. Carbon is in every living thing. Find the mean of these numbers. Well, to find the mean, uh, that's the average. You have to add up all of the number, the numbers in the in the sample set, and then divide by the number of samples. So in this case, we added up all the numbers. There's 72, 72, and there are nine nine numbers in the number set. So if you divide 72 by nine, you get eight. We're finding the median of these numbers. You have to put all the numbers in order and then step two you cross off one from each end so if we do that we end up with five in the middle that's the median number but one key thing here is you have to put the numbers in ascending or descending order so lowest to the highest or the highest to the lowest in this case I put them lowest to the highest finally Find the mode of these numbers. Well, the mode is the number that comes up the most often. In this particular case, I just put the numbers in ascending order from the lowest to uh, the highest, and I group them together by number. So if you look at this, there's four twos. There's nothing, no other number that ha is close to that except four and 10. So two is the number that comes up the most. And that's it.